Hey everybody, welcome back. The Northern Lion plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I think we're gonna do, okay, last run, let's just, it was uh, out of control ridiculousness. I think we're gonna do another character we haven't played yet in Afterbirth. We're gonna do Judas, we're gonna do Hard Mode. I know that we're waiting on one more Greed Mode run. Um, I haven't done a Greed Mode run in a couple of days. Well, not a couple of days, but like a couple of videos at least. Um, but here's our seed for this Judas run. MPKJ3ED3. I feel like we should try to see, um, Dark Room stuff on a character. We were well on our way on the last run until we re-rolled our run into Dunce Cap plus, uh, Soy Milk, which was, uh, slightly suboptimal. And by slightly suboptimal, I mean, like, borderline impossible to do any damage to anybody. So, we have an Awaz rune. You might be saying, oh, you popped Awaz, daddy! First off, don't call me daddy. It's getting a little weird. This is weird as well. We'll talk about this in a second. But blank card Awaz might be better than Book of Belial now. Because Book of Belial no longer guarantees you deals with the devil, or at least so I've heard. I believe that now it gives you a better chance of getting a deal with the devil. But not a, uh, a guaranteed chance. What's good about the... Uh the Awaz rune, even if we don't take blank card to kind of buff it, uh, well, basically, we can use it, even with one HP, to get into curse rooms and then out safely. Although, now that I think about it, I guess if we did that and then we got a black market, we would literally just die in the room. So, um, like, there would be no way for us to get around dying in the room unless we could get a spirit heart from the black market or the crawl space somehow. So, maybe we don't want to do that. Or maybe we do. I guess if we had blank card, we could go in there, blank card Awaz, and then if we're still, like, if we get a crawl space, we could just Awaz Awaz and hopefully get out. But we don't even have a curse room to worry about yet. There is a spirit heart back here. I don't know why I didn't uh, deem it appropriate to go for it right away. I was hoping to get the battery charge as well, not that it would matter that much. This could be a great opportunity for us to get some HP. And we get uh, some HP. I'm going to throw down the Awaz rune as well. Uh, and we will leave with Book of Belial. Why am I keeping Book of Belial? Because I'm Judas. I want, you know, sue me. I want a little Book of Belial action, even though it's no longer uh, a guaranteed deal with the devil. I kind of want the, uh, I, I want to find out for myself, damn it, whether or not Judas is still, like, as viable as he used to be. Obviously, he starts with an awesome uh, damage stat or damage multiplier, uh, but... The Book of Belial was kind of considered, like, the, the guaranteed deal with the devil part was kind of considered, like, the augmentation or the offsetting, you know, factor behind starting with such little HP. It'll be interesting to see if Judas is still uh, kind of like a fan favorite after this nerf. Because Cain, super fan favorite, and then got uh, nerfed in Rebirth, and all of a sudden, you know, now that it, he wasn't just exclusively great pills, was this guy called Ragman? Um, now that he didn't just give exclusively good pills, people were like, ah, he's not that good. I, I still think Kane is pretty good. I think most people still think Kane is pretty good, just not as good as he, uh, used to be. Oh my god, these homing shots are incredible. We got him, though. One more hit. Cat of Nine Tails and one deal we can take for sure. Uh, yes, we will. Oh! We lived! <laughs> Now that I think about it, there was no way we wouldn't have lived in the in the other direction anyway. But I was like, I should have taken the hearts before taking that, just for safety's sake. Even though we're actually fine, but that did scare the shit out of me. At least temporarily. Hey, Toma. Oh my god, Toma, you got me hit, buddy. What's up, my dog? Hanging out. Try not to throw up again today. If you're sick and you can't help it, that's fine. But it'd be awesome if I didn't have to clean up any more uh, stinky cat puke today. If you can't control that, you know, we'll we'll take you to the vet, buddy. That's no problem, but uh, for now, it's almost feeling a little under the weather. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're gonna take Tech X. The reason we're gonna take, this is like lowers our shot speed, which might actually be good for something like this, so that it does its damage a little bit more slowly. But um, I think that this is the right choice for us, mostly because it's novel, and that's okay. We will sacrifice a little HP to come in here. That's pretty good. That's less good, as you might expect. Um, I'm just gonna make a run for it here. It also has a great visual effect. This should be a library. Hmm. Well, we could get Book of Revelations and, uh, you know what? Maybe Book of Revelations is better than Book of Belial for us. Mind you, I did just say 
we we want to see if Judas is good enough on his own merits, and then we just ended up taking an item that is like a, an item we've used a lot for like three years. But hey, man, we've also got to do what's right for us to uh, have the best chance possible to win, and this this could be that uh, that decision right here. Not that this run is not already super weird. Oh man, this tech item is gonna make it so easy to shoot poops and fires. This is the best day of my life. More options. Please let me get more options. I love you, and thank you for the secret room access that I would not have otherwise found. I don't totally know what more options does, but maybe it's just a secondary there's options, or maybe it's a there's options that gives us um, a different pool, or maybe it's a there's options that gives us four choices instead of two. I don't know. You attack my chair, Tomo? He didn't attack my chair. I just leaned backwards and thought it was somebody else. Uh, okay, happens to the best of us. We got a tarot card. It's the sun. That's good enough for me to want to use it here. The only reason I won't is because it won't complete the room, like, by itself. So we can send uh, these Ludovico techniques, because uh, it's basically what this is, is Ludo technology. We can send them through on the regular here. And, oh, that's pretty good. We should also know that sometimes it might be for the best for us to just spam these shots, because the circle will be smaller. So if we want to hit, like, a lot of enemies, we might want a larger circle. If we want to make sure that one enemy dies, we might be better off with some smaller circles. And then, uh, you know, if the if the circles play their cards right, maybe we'll spell out the alphabet. Let's see what we got here. Juicy Sack. Without a reroll, Juicy Sack is an acceptable pickup. Okay, still can't do anything with the sun, really. Can't get into this room. Well, I can, but probably can't get anything from it. Uh, if we ever have to go through that room again, I'm gonna be pissed. But honestly, it seems still like that's uh, not that bad of a room relative to some of the button rooms that we can come across. If they had made that room now, they probably would have put a button in it somewhere. Probably between the turrets, which is like, it doesn't change the way that we solve it as is, but uh, it's a little... It would make it harder, let's put it that way. Thing's gonna explode. And this guy's screwed. That was poor on my part. What do you think? Deal with the devil chance? Nope. Well, there might have been a chance. Who knows? What do you think? I've got a new idea for something that could make the strength card sort of viable. That was very poor on my part. Got a new idea for something, though, that could make the strength card sort of viable. What if you take this in? We'll see if we get a deal with the devil. Because that's the only way it's going to work for us. But if we get a deal with the devil, which we did not... <laughs> Okay, di disregard this. We're gonna figure it out on the next floor. I'm gonna leave this sun card behind to try this. Basically what I'm getting at is, let's take a strength card into our deal with the devil, pop it, and then shouldn't it make the deal change to being about red hearts because we have them back? The way I understand it is that deals default to being about red hearts, or it'd be costing red hearts. Being about is a very strange way to put that. Um, and then uh, they go to spirit hearts if you don't have the red hearts necessary to pay for them. So if we actually have the red hearts necessary to pay for them, we might be able to abuse our, our strength card even more than ever, really, to get uh, free deals with the devil. I'm not going to try to do it all in one here. These rooms are like my worst enemy, man. We did get a battery charge for that, which is awesome. We could afford a deal with the devil the old-fashioned way, but if we don't need to afford it the old-fashioned way, then that's fine. A lot of people are probably going to be wondering how I feel about Tech Point X. Uh, we've had it once before on a run, and it didn't synergize fantastically. But on the whole, I actually think that it's awesome. It's like a a piercing, super huge technology shot that uh, it, it does damage based on your own damage. I think it's really, really good. I haven't seen it synergize with too much. And, then, you know, pe people can be sort of impatient, and I understand why. You've been waiting for... Afterbirth for like a, a whole year and you know, you've got this incredible built built up knowledge about uh, Rebirth you want to get to that same point with these new items you want to jump to conclusions But I think it's important to note that you know how you feel about an item right now might not be how you feel about it in a, in a month or two You know G give it a little bit of time for us to Figure things out not us like I'm in some kind of like Isaac, you know uh, What am I trying to say you're like an Isaac conclave that that deems items appropriate or not appropriate I'm just saying like, uh, give it some time to figure out if it's worth or not worth. But I think this one is decidedly going to be in the worth it camp. At least that's my opinion so far. Maybe not for every run, but it might actually... My, my initial, kind of like, based on half information analysis, 
might put this even a little bit above tech point five. The only thing that's different is that, um, not the only thing that's different, because it is a big fucking laser ring that shoots out of your face. So there's a couple of things that are different between this and other tech items, but uh, one thing that's different between this and tech point five is that tech point five just fits in over top of your run, and obviously this um, is a little bit more of like, this becomes your tiers, so it could cannibalize maybe a better tier effect if it doesn't synergize with it, which would be unfortunate, but apart from that, I really like it. It also has one of my favorite visual effects in the game. Now, is there like a left way over here? I don't think that there is, but figured we should check. We're making great time, by the way. We got like four and a half minutes to be out of this floor, I think. What are we on? Yeah, Caves 2. That should tell you how strong we are. I'm kind of digging the idea of not charging your tears up as much either, just kind of like spamming the the tiny shots that I think do their damage in a more concentrated fashion. Ah, there's a left way over here. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, there is a, a path we can take. For the most part, it hasn't really mattered. Ooh, Nod, Leaf, or Charm Tears. This is a decision that most people will make differently, I think. But um, I'm going to choose to go with... Charm tears, because I expect to be using my tears more than I expect to be standing still. Which is, it's a little bit of an unfair way to phrase it, but for the most part, I don't really like uh, Nod Leaf, because it, it forcibly kind of changes your play style to get the best value out of it anyway. I'm going, I'm just completely fucked on directions here. Oh, Curse of the Unknown, what have you done to me? Plus, it makes our, uh, it makes our ring pink, which allows me to say pink ring, which is just kind of gross. So written in a so it say Pink rings on its way None of you stand so tall Pink ring close to my balls It's a pink ring Sorry to the estate of Nick Drake for that No, it's not really like a slanderous uh, use of his media, but you know at least I stopped before I just uttered pink ring like 30 times. Yeah, like, ring is just the perfect slang for butthole, man. I remember, like, Kate really likes this donut shop in Vancouver. And I, I went there, I had to go to the bank, and the donut shop was right next to it. And she's like, you better come back with a donut. And I was like, I know what's good for me, so I'm going to come back with a donut. And then, um, when I was in line for the donut, the lady in front of me was like, can I have a glazed ring, please? And I was like, you have no idea. But that sounds hilarious. For a couple of different reasons. Okay, here's our here's our dream come true here. We got Binky. And then... Let's just wait a sec. We might get a uh, Book of Revelations charge when we finish this. We did. Now let's pop the Strength card. So it costs us two Red Hearts instead of... Well, which is effectively just the one Red Heart. Uh, I am a genius. I am a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. I am a real American. Fight for the rights. Fight for your lives. Bow, 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 down, down, down. So now, all of a sudden, the strength card is like a really awesome... By the way, Book of Revelations didn't guarantee us a cube of meat? Or is that because we got Pestilence on our... It must be because we got Pestilence on our last floor. But, um... Yeah, that's... That makes the strength card actually extremely valuable now. Especially if you can get it by, like, the second floor in the game. I wonder if your charged up shots deal more damage. Because right now, I'm, I'm digging tiny circle meta. It's working out really well. Cementing this is a, an item that I'm quite a big fan of, though. Also, breaking poops really quickly is awesome. We got a lucky penny there. And remember on this one, we're going to the dark room. We're gonna try anyway. Oh, uh, you're gonna make me do it, aren't you? It's been it's been too long. I've got to try it. I haven't been using the D100 as much as I normally do because I've been trying to, ironically, mix it up. But here we go. Let's do it. What? Okay, so we got mom's knife. This is what you get. <laughs> we got mom's knife. No cool synergies. So I mean, I'm not gonna stick with this, but I do find that kind of funny. I also find it kind of sad that the dreams of which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. What is on my head here? Oh, it's the Judas Fez. Okay. Actually, it's called the Judas Gomez. 
do we have to kill this one? We're just basically kind of killing time and and also everything else on the screen until we can get another uh, D100 charge because I don't give a shit about this run. It's kind of a little, this run's a little blase for me personally. You know, I'm a little bit more of a brimstone man than mom's knife. And if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my friends. Like the damage is just too strong basically is what I'm getting at. Too strong to be cool. We got to make this run cooler. That's not going to be items, probably, so we'll just reroll this, and we got a chest out of it, and a penny. This one's got, like, some... I got some tech shots. Sack dagger. Enough HP to play this jabroni until all the live long day. We obviously have Celtic Cross as well. Which is going to be helpful right now, if this guy doesn't pay out immediately. Infested, Infested is fine. Joker, we might as well hold. I am going to trade some spirit hearts here, basically because I don't give a shit. With the D100, we're going to have enough HP, probably no matter what, so. We're also hoping for more invincibility, of course. You know what we should... Oh, Gimpy's a huge pickup. Can't wait to reroll that. Um, we, uh, we're, we should be stoked to have the Joker card, because that lets us get a free item out of Boss Rush. Or we could use it just to um, knock it out of Boss Rush, if the Boss Rush items suck, and instead... Uh, get an extra deal with the devil later in the game you guys know my my principle for uh the d100 which is basically i'm gonna reroll until we get a run that is like super neat or super powerful one of the two and uh and then that's gonna do it so there is a chance that the items that we take from a deal with the devil later in the game could actually stick around whereas whatever we pick up from boss rush is gonna get fucking rerolled anyway right all i need now is a, a chaos item to take this to the next level also considered maybe taking it to the candy shop, and if it's good, you could let it lick the lollipop. We don't have any bombs, so we won't be picking up that key, which is probably a sound choice, honestly. What are we doing here? Well, you see, um, the D100 really highlights the absurdity of human life. What's the point in uh, in going onwards when we're all going to die someday anyway? That's what the D100 says to me, is like, uh, you know... We're, we're, we're not going to have the items we pick up regardless. What's the point in worrying about them right now? Uh, so we're going to go get as many items as possible because one day it's going to get better and we're going to be happy that we did. Restock. Never-ending stores. Oh, so it turns our store into like... Uh, into greed mode, kind of. That's cool. Sorry, Algizrun. Had to be done. Now we've got mom's... Ni oh, no, we got the mom transformation. I guess that's why we should be rerolling as much as possible is because these transformations... Um, they're never going to stop. This run looks like pretty bad. I like the trailing knife. That's kind of about it. <laughs> I'm not sure do we have homing tears of any sort. We got holy water. That's not what I asked though. We got rune bag. Damage seems okay, but unimpressive in the sense that it's kind of just like, you know, the tears look shitty. I mean, I hate to say it, but that's what some of it comes down to here. I'd rather do two small rooms than one big room. Might be wrong, but that's the logic I'm going to stick to right now. Should stay back from fire mine. But again, I'm kind of like, we're going to get HP anyway. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, I've... <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather do two small rooms than one big room. But why don't we do both accidentally while trying to run away from a, a troll bomb? Well, actually, maybe I'm a genius. Yeah, real genius. I got one spirit heart. Awaz rune. Toss that down. Want to see if we got a black market out of it? We did not. What are we doing here? We, it's a big floor, okay? It's not going to be built in a day. We're going to take our time... And uh, get to the second item room and reroll ourselves many times along the way. Hopefully the transformations still stick. If they do, we could have like every transformation in the game maybe by the end of this. I don't even know what they would be, but we would have them. Maybe we should reroll back here so if it sucks really bad, we still have the battery charge. So we still have the knife trailing behind us. We have like piercing shots, soy milk. Honestly, a little bit too similar to the last run for me to be stoked. So, uh... I'm just gonna re-roll this right now. I have no idea what's going on here. We got like triple shot monstros lung, tiny planet, no range. It is fucking this is dire, man. This one's even worse. Got rotten, baby. I like that. We we appear to keep our transformation as well. Oh, that's that's
that's just ghastly. Um, we have enough money to go to her shop. And on her shop, we might be able to buy a... Uh, oh, oh, oh. We might be able to buy a battery charge. Use said battery charge to reroll our whole run. I can't believe I did all that for fucking Butterbean, but here we are. Plenty of time still to, you know, die in the rest of the game. It takes us so long to get our shot charged up, and then it just goes like, man, there is a battery charge. Okay, we're done. Oh, we got chaos, which is huge. I have no idea what this is. It's fucking like built. Oh, it's $3 bill, and then the dunce cap. What is this? What is happening here? Um, I'm going to reroll our run again because it's very strange. We got the Cthulhu monster. Are we stuck with the are you with the wizard? <laughs> are you the wizard? Are we stuck with the are you a wizard effect um, once we've gotten the dunce cap once? No matter if we reroll our whole run? Oh, that's fucking bullshit! That you can reroll into it, but you can't reroll away from it. That is, I'm a little long term, I'm a little salty about that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, there goes our eternal heart, but whatever. We're gonna get a deal with the devil on this floor regardless. What is up with our cube of meat? It doesn't look like a normal- Oh, because it's a second level cube of meat. Even though we had ball of bandages earlier. Whatever, man. It's a little weird. Um, if we're actually stunk with- Stunk. That's a great uh, misspeak there, but if we're actually stuck with dunce cap, uh, that puts a huge damper on our run. Um, uh, Cursed Eye teleported me out. I think we should just go for broke here. Let's be honest. We're Cthulhu monster. We're not gonna. Um, we're not gonna die. We might as well just fight the boss by like doing orbital and knife damage, which will kill it pretty easily. And just don't shoot ourselves. This way we can get so much damage. I didn't even get hit on this. Well, I got hit there, but still. No deal with the devil, which is fine. We're taking the negative, even though I have no idea how this run's gonna look. We got the choice between Stompy and Mr. Boom. So you know what? No, we're not going to take either of them. And we're not going to use our Joker card here. Well, we should use our Joker card here nonetheless. Which means we should probably take Stompy so it gets rerolled. We had a second left to make that decision. We should still do this. And I'm glad we did. We'll take Guppy's head. Use it. Take the nail. Use it. Take the D100. And get ready to pretty much immediately re-roll this run on the next floor. I have no idea what's going to happen, to be honest with you. And that's okay. Certainly a very strange run. Trying to line up the knife properly. Let's see what we got now. Um, this is the dopest of all time. We're shooting nails out of our face that also explode when they hit the ground. Uh, I don't know what's causing this, but I'm for it. We also have, like, the Parasite after they land or something. We're gonna hurt ourselves a little bit here. I would get ready for that. At the same time, this is an awesome synergy. We got, like, a Nail Transformation or something. Man, the, the Parasite or Cricket's Body, whatever is... Causing these shots to ricochet is scaring the shit out of me, but we're not gonna D100 ourselves anymore unless we're about to die And that's the the dirty little secret of the D100 is that it's awesome if you're about to die it Gives you a ton of HP usually tinted rock. We'll blow that up in the safest way possible ie with a bomb Killing some enemies in one I guess we can see our items there. We got up and down nail proptosis mulligan Item tracker actually works for the transformations now. That's kind of neat. Petrified poop is not necessary. That means maybe we have, like, Cracker Jack. Uh, you know what? We're getting rid of D100, so I think we should take Book of Shadows. We could use Book of Secrets on this floor to try to gain, like, a, uh, a little bit of insight into where we're supposed to be going. But I don't think it matters that much. We're probably going the right way, and if we're not, we're killing enemies very quickly regardless. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I probably hit myself there. All right. Daddy Long Legs is dead before I even really get... Th there was a second Daddy Long Legs that showed up there. Can we talk about that? That was a little strange. 
We didn't get a deal with the devil, but it's, it's hard to get bent out of shape about it. Now, remember, on this floor, we're going to the dark room. We're not going to the, uh, the cathedral. And this time, we actually have a very, very good chance of winning. Of course, anytime we get a one makes you blank pill, we're taking it. I don't even know what happened there, but I'm, I'm thrilled to be safe still. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, the trade-off for this run right now is that our rate of fire is actually just disgustingly bad. However, it doesn't matter as much when one shot kills literally everything, so... Um... Probably should go back for that or people are gonna be mad. I mean, our flies kill everything without a doubt, but, uh... We also kill everything without a doubt. It looks like we have Judas' Shadow mixed in here somewhere. It's Book of Shadows again in the Bible. We don't really care about either of those right now. Book of Shadows, or sorry, not Book of Shadows, Book of Secrets in the Bible. Um, we probably should be taking Book of Secrets so that it comes out of our pool, but surely it's shown up twice already. It can't show up again. Almost done. Done. Okay, we're going down to Shoal. Uh, you know what? We should fight the Hush. Because we have so much damage on this run. Take our Spirit Heart as well. Uh, we have enough keys to do it for sure. This run has really turned around. It's a little bit of a strange one, but... We gotta try to get the post-it notes filled out for these characters, which is the main reason I'm doing this one right here. Okay, something... Oh, a damage upgrade is nothing to sneeze at. Steven ain't nothing to sneeze at. Um, boomerang we don't really want. Battery we probably do. Uh, yeah, we'll take Skinny Odd Mushroom. We can shoot a little faster. It'll do less damage. Hopefully not much of a problem. I think we want the spiders here. And then we'll buy the battery charge and get the heck out of here. We also just got the mushroom transformation. I have no idea what this does, but we look fucking awesome right now. Yeah, being able to shoot more often is actually going to be pretty nice against tanky enemies like this. Although it doesn't help that much on Hush, it seems, because you're dealing with an enemy that's so tanky regardless. And I still, I keep theoring, I keep theoring theories. I keep hearing theories that, um, you know, the, the way you fight the Hush dictates how much HP it has. Like, if you kill the blue baby phase super quickly, then they make the Hush have more HP. Or just, I know it's not the Hush, but just Hush. Um, no, that's me telling you to Hush. <laughs> I'm joking, it's not. It's me calling it Hush. Um... I'm, now I'm just deliberately trying to be confusing. Uh, basically what I'm getting at is, maybe the fact that we have so much damage is actually a little bit of a curse and causes us to have a much longer fight against this enemy as a result. Or maybe it has a weak spot that we can hit for, you know, massive damage. Giant enemy crab style. Shot hit the wall there. This might actually be a little dangerous for us. We are huge. Oh my god, okay, don't die here. How is it possible that we could lose on this run after being so strong and we've won against the Hush in much, much more difficult situations? I don't think it's just bad play. There's some kind of secret uh, algorithmical junk at work here. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I know if we die, we're just going to respawn as Dark Judas, but... Uh, We'll respawn as Dark Judas and then probably immediately die to Hush. This attack is the worst. What am I supposed to do? Blow up Temperance. Temperance just gave me money. Stay back. Stay back. Okay, be smarter and better. This little Brimstone's time to shine. That was a lot of damage right there. Maybe he has like a weak point we can hit. Or like there's a weak phase that he has. I don't like that occasionally we shoot shots behind us thanks to the mom transformation. Yep, like that one. He's almost dead. Just get one more hit in. Oh, we did it. Holy shit. Good God. No unlocks? I find that hard to believe. Well, if we die, we respawn as Dark Judas. Is there like a spirit heart available in here? There's a red heart. What's this pill? I can see forever. Hilarious. Well, that was tough, man. Now we're going down to Shoal. 
We did do it, um, but that was uh, also kind of ridiculous. Take I can see forever, of course. I didn't want to kill ourselves because I was like, well, if we die, I'd rather... This is probably an easier room. I didn't, no need to use Book of Shadows here, but we did get uh, a charge for it. Um, if we die, I'd rather die and have the extra life available as opposed to just having it immediately be worthless. Um, I don't think I've used a bomb. I just want to see. Maybe we got sad bombs or something. We should be still very strong here. It might take us a little while to build back our, uh, our HP, but I hope that we get the chance to. Might as well do this room for, for reasons that now I'm like, why? <laughs> why might I as well do this room? Almost got ourselves killed for an infested pill. It's really the mom transformation that's kind of fucking me here with that like guaranteed mom's eye. At least I think that's what part of the mom transformation does. Ah, you know, let's just make sure that we get this room done. I think using the Book of Shadows whenever it's available is is only going to pay dividends. Let's just use some bombs for a minute here. Got no flies left either. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get the job done. Get the job done, thank you. Okay, we could fly into this room. We will die on the way out. That scares me a bit. We got flies now. Two flies could kill these enemies. Or several of them, at least. Good. Thank God we didn't fire behind us. All right, what do we got? Double Loki should not require the use of Book of Shadows, but again, I'm trying to be a little bit more prudent than usual here. We got very lucky to not get hit there. Put a bomb down next to the blue fire. Hey, that's what we're looking for. I didn't mean to do that, but we didn't get hit. So now I'm not going to use Book of Shadows. I meant to use Book of Shadows. Apparently I forgot what button uh, activates your active item. Which is a silly, kind of deliberately silly explanation of how that went down, but... No spirit hearts, man. Okay, he's gonna die. We got a battery charge. This is great. Bomb. And then the nail. And stay as fucking far away from the edge of the screen as you can. Oh, God. Oh, okay, I probably just saved myself from dying with about, you know, a quarter of a second left there. We have completed the Satan fight. At least. We'll head up to the next floor, and I'm like, what in the world is going on on this run? I don't know if we can beat the lamb on this one. We should have a chance. The HP is not meaningless, like this, the single spirit arts we got. Pheromones, speed down, infested again, and speed up. I mean, speed up's fine, but uh, what else we got here? Pheromones. I guess we're taking pheromones. Oh, nice damage. That damage was actually, like, a little bit, uh, unacceptable. Alright, well. Let's do this again. As Dark Judas this time. Once more with feeling. On the bright side, Dark Judas is gonna do a lot more damage. It's just really hard to make sure I don't hit myself here. The easiest approximation I could give you is that this is like having... It's like having two of diamonds. No, it's like having quad shot, Ipecac, Loki's horns. We have to stand in the exact center of the room, basically, to have a, to have no chance of getting hit by our own bombs. It's a hard habit to get into, but beyond that, it's just some rooms that that's not possible. What if we're fighting like Daddy Longlegs? He's just in the center of the room. But luckily, we have Book of Shadows, and it's doing mostly doing work for us. That was great. I love that. Let's try to knock out this uh, this room right here. Somehow we didn't get hit. I want to do this so we can get another Book of Shadows charge. And actually, this big rooms might be easier for me to not get hit on. Oh, that was so dumb of me. But now we get Butt Bombs. Which gives us... Uh, no, it doesn't work with the, the shots from the nail, apparently. Kind of a surprise. Hey, a Spirit Heart. Random lucky spirit heart. 
What in the world? Are we gonna get five spirit arts for finishing this room? Just the one, huh? It's all right. Still valuable. We've created a second daddy long legs, apparently. This is actually the way to the boss fight. And we're gonna have a Book of Shadows charged up, obviously. Uh, that's amazing. I'm not amazed that we won this run. Uh, because of our damage, I'm amazed that we won this run because of how fucking terrible our HP was and our inability to, like, not hit ourselves. So there's your dark room. I don't know if we saw too many new rooms, but it, what's done is done. Can we at least see the post-it and see if, like, we've gotten... Eh, it looks like we've gotten stuff we might not have had earlier. Just because it, of the bug. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.